All right, welcome back to Get Out of the House, Go Fish. Today I stopped by St. Augustine Paddle Sports, came down to St. Uh, St. Augustine, and uh, I launched at this location, and as soon as I got in the water, I just turned and looked, and there was a tarpon rolling right there in front of me, so I didn't bring anything to fish for tarpon, but got me some fiddlers. So, as you can see, plenty of fiddlers. Some nice size ones in there. Thank you, David, for some great looking fiddlers hopefully have some luck today doing some sheepshead fishing uh we're gonna get on out here and see what we can get into all right i was i was talking to, uh to everybody saying definitely if you're interested in a kayak head on down to st augustine paddle sports and uh talk to dave here about uh possibly getting out there on the water demoing uh, the kayak that you like and he'll put you on the right kayak yes i yeah. will come on down yeah. all right thanks Mike. all right appreciate, appreciate you coming out man. oh yeah here we go all right, here we go, here we go. I'm looking for growth like that on the docks. I'm not sure how deep it is over here. Let's see. Not that deep. All right, when you're fishing for sheep's head around docks, it's important to look for specific features and signs that can increase your chances of success. So uh, they're known for hanging around you know these kind of structures and so i'm just going to go over some of the things as we you know as we fish here um, i know some people ha have been having issues and, and problems getting on that uh, sheep's head bite so i uh, hope this video helps you oh, oh just got hit just got hit did i get it i got the claw so they're there Just got hit. Come on. Damn. Got that time. Yeah, they're here. All right, coming up to this dock, I noticed there was quite a bit of bait fish around. And uh, you want to keep uh, an eye out for, you know, smaller fish that may be gathering around the dock because the sheep's head will follow their prey, how the currents uh, are flowing. As far as like the tidal currents, uh, look for areas where bait fish and other prey get carried to, you know, by the current. Oh man. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. All right, first one, first one. He's at like 15 and a half. All right, there we go, 15 and a half. First one. All right, got my stringer here. Doing any good? Uh, so far, just one, one sheep's head. It's okay if I fish around on the end there here? What's that? It's okay if I fish around the end? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Not my water. Okay. <laughs> Boats start tying up on my dock. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't even. Yeah, I don't usually get much under my dock. No? Sometimes a small snapper will come in. Mm hmm. You know, unless I put out, like, uh, I got a green light that I'll drop every now and then. But, um,. I'll bring in some of the bigger fish, but... Oh, I just saw a huge sheep's head behind you. Yeah, that's mine. That's what I call it. Oh, that's yeah. what <laughs> It's on a stringer. What'd you get them on? That's a fiddler. Fiddler? Mm -hmm, yes, sir. Yeah, I get sheep's head up under here. Um, usually more during the, the spring or, or late, kind of late time. But, mm -hmm. You know, I've tried the exact same rig, and I've seen them. And I sneak up I, so I don't spook them. Mm -hmm. I see it drop right in front of their nose and I can't get them to bite. Am I doing something wrong or? Uh, I mean, they're pretty finicky uh, sometimes. Sometimes I use muscles too. Yeah. Uh, that'll do it too. Yeah, so the uh, guy that was working on my dock was telling me that sometimes he'll just do that. He'll just get, get a clam, break it open or something and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and get them to activate that way. But, yeah, last year I, I got a whole bunch of fiddlers and over like three, four weeks. And I could just see them. I could drop right in front of them. Didn't spook them. Just nothing. 
Will they bite shrimp or no? Yeah, they will. Will they? Mm -hmm. Earlier this uh -huh. year, I saw them. At least in person, the biggest sheep set I ever seen in my life. I don't know how big it was, but it's it's probably another fifty percent bigger than that one. Yeah, that was about that's about fifteen and a half. So I think the biggest one I've caught is like a 22 inch, yeah, it was and that probably, was ooh, probably yeah. in that. That was a big one. <laughs> it was only here once, and kind of just played around. It's like bouncing around on high tide the, the rocks, mm -hmm. and then I never saw it again. I get quite a few that size that will play around in here, depending on time of year. I don't, you know, it's always hard to see them when it's perky like this. Mm -hmm. well, you have a great day. Oh, thank you, sir. You too. What's up Slayers? I've got something exciting to share with you today. Uh, the sponsor of this video is Cow Cow. They sent me these awesome deck boots to uh, review and uh, they come in an array of uh, cool colors uh, so you can check them out online or on Amazon. The links will be in the description. Also there will be a 30% discount so check it out. So let's go ahead and dive into the pros and benefits of, uh, of these uh, deck boots and one word is versatility. These boots are, you know, your all-in-one solution for land, boat, and kayak fishing. The traction they offer is top-notch, giving you stability on slippery boat decks and rocky shores. Take a look at that non-slip sole. I mean, it's like having an adhesive on your feet. <laughs> no more awkward slips and slides, so. But here's where they truly shine. I mean, the boots are 100% waterproof, whether you're dealing with an unexpected rain shower or just wading through shallow waters uh, your feet are going to stay dry and comfortable uh, and also you know when you're launching your kayak you don't have to worry about getting your feet wet uh, and uh, that's uh, definitely a plus and uh, as far as comfort uh, the key is uh, when you're out in the water for hours that is the main you know thing you're thinking about uh, the boots feature a cushioned insole and they offer excellent ankle support and are a breeze to put on and take off thanks to the convenient pull tabs that are located in the front and the back. And uh, here's the icing on the cake. Once again, they're offering a 30% discount for all you Slayers. So it's only for a limited time and uh, it's until October 20th of 2023. So definitely grab a pair of these fantastic boots at an unbeatable price. Um, that discount code is in the description below and I'll put it right here on the screen also. Uh, be sure to share it with your friends, other anglers. So Slayers, it's time to gear up, get out the house, grab you a uh, pair of Cow Cow Deck Boots, hit the water, let's make some unforgettable fishing memories. Don't forget to use that discount code and until next time, get out the house, go fish. some barnacles on there so see if anything's hanging by this one that's another sign you'll look for some barnacles some sheep's head will be eating the barnacles off these these pollens sheep's head love to feed on barnacles and oysters so docks and pilings that are covered in these crustaceans are prime there's, locations there's, nothing's biting once again, we don't have any movement. Let's see that side. You know, the sound of sheep's head crunching on shells can sometimes be heard underwater, which is kind of cool. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. That's how it's done. Up there. It's not a big one, but keeper size oh yeah that's it mm, 13 and a half another keeper big old boat coming that's not gonna be good Big old yacht coming. We're racing to get out. Don't want to be stuck under that dock when this guy comes through. 
The destiny. Oh my gosh, look at that wake. Oh my gosh. Sheep's head like to move around to different parts of a dock, so pay attention to variations in structure. They may be near the surface, along the sides, or deeper under the dock. So uh, cast your bait in various areas to find where they're congregating. And today you'll notice that in two different docks, I'm going up into like the corners on the inside, and that's where they're, uh, I'm getting my bite at. Oh man, I got it. They're down, they're down there. You're right there. Gotcha that time. Gotcha that time. Gotcha that time. Yes. All right. There we go. There we go. This guy's good. 15. Get out the house, go fish. There we go. Number three, 15 inches. Let's see if any, anything else is over here. Let's see. Any more guys hanging out right here? Yep, there's another one. Man, that's a good one. Another one. Same spot. Woo! Sometimes they just like that, just hanging out in one spot. It's crazy. Let's see how big this guy is. Let's see. He is. No, he's 13 and a half. Yep. Alright. Number four. Let's see, I just want to see if there's another guy, another sheep's head. All right, back in this corner again. Let's see if there's another one hanging out. Any other ones? Oh, any other ones down here? It feels like there is. If something wants to, something wants to get it. Come on, you know you want it. Oh man, I think there's one more. Uh, there's another one down there. I feel it messing with it. There's another one. Whew. There you go. Yep. Gotcha. 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 There was another one over there. Come on. Gotcha. Let's see what this guy's got. Looks like too... This guy's looks... Oh, he's right at 12. He's too small. Send this one back. Hey, this one's right at 12, but he's going back. All right. Yep, just made it, but mm, too small. This is a good one. Let's get in there. Oh yeah, got him. Woo. Uh, another 15 incher. 15 inches. Oh, I got something. Oh, I got something coming out of that dock. Something grabbed it. 
Oh, a drum. Nice drum. That's what I'm talking about. Nice keeper drum. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Woo. Nice black drum. That is a great way to end the day off. Let's see how big this guy is. Drumming. You 14? Oh yeah, you're like 16. 16 inch drum. Woo, that's gonna be a nice dinner. All right. All right, today I'm using the Casking two-piece Air G2 fishing rod to target these sheep's head. It's built with a tough carbon fiber blank and uh, it's very sensitive. Uh, it's got the Fuji guide O-ring line guides, uh, so it's got some smooth line management. Uh, whether you're new to fishing or a seasoned angler, the Air G2 is a smart choice for sheep's head uh, hunting and basically great for travel too. So check it out. And uh, you can either check it on Amazon or uh, through Casking, but uh, I'll have a link in the description also. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got him. Got him. Got him. That looks like another drum. Oh. Another drum. Let's see if he's going to be big enough. Gotta be 14. He looks a little small. He is about 12 and a half. So he does not make the cut for, for a drum. Alright. Alright, alright, that's it for today. I think we did pretty good. Got about uh five sheep's head and uh one drum. And uh had uh, two little ones, one sheep's head and one drum to throw back. So, did a pretty good day uh, fishing today. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and y'all be sure to get out of the house and go fish. All right, till next time.